Hi, I'm Monday Jones, and welcome to my bed. This is your first time visiting uh, my, my station or seeing any of my content. I just want to give you a disclaimer that um, I, I am not suitable, and my content is not suitable for children under, or anybody under 18, and not suitable for work. I am a lifestylist and a professional mistress, so I work in the adult industry. I'm also a producer of erotic art and a uh, fetish model and actress, adult actress. So um, there's definitely more to, my, more to me than that. So if you just got intrigued with what I just said, I encourage you to go to the links below. Just remember that they are not suitable for people under 18 and not suitable for work. I, in the links below, though, I will send you to my website, my story, so you can read up more about me, and the actual link to the blog that I am reading to you today. So, the blog that I am reading to you today is where? Oh, here it is. So what um, what I've done basically is I've been writing a, a blog, a dating mistress series now for a year and a half. And what I've decided to do is, is not everybody likes to read blogs. Uh, you know, this day and age, people like to look at people on this little tiny screen. We hold these little screens to our face. And I feel like the information that I have to share is really, really beneficial information and I want to share it. So what I've decided to do is read my blogs to you and turn them into vlogs. I also have another vlog series called Safety Meetings where I just, I smoke a joint and, and talk. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but, but fun, especially the things that come out of my mouth. Um, so I am going to read you a dating mystery mistress mystery dating mystery a dating mistress summer 2020 I've always been a mistress and now it's time for me to take the leading role my intuition tells me I need to open up and reveal the most recent findings I have discovered about myself and my life path I received a lot of clarity as the days get shorter and the nights longer. Stargazing seems to help. If you've been following me and reading the last few blogs, or listening to the blogs, then you're well aware that I'm on a little kick of healing myself from heartbreak from a past lover. I would like to report the heart is feeling more in its natural state of openness, but it didn't come without necessary actions on my side. I shared a lot of the things I was doing to actively mend and the stuff that I was daydreaming about in the blog before this one. Well, yeah, some of that shit paid off and some of it was just filler to keep me occupied in the different stages of the recovery process. I'm actually happy to announce I'm still single. Which, I'm so happy that I'm single. <laughs> at least at the time that I'm reading this to you, I'm still single. <laughs> I, really, I really needed to face my shadows alone. Plus, partnering up wasn't exactly what I was looking to do in the mission of bettering myself. Love is something that I'm discovering within. And no, my divine partner will show up when the time, when it's the right time. What I really wanted was to heal my sorrows and move forward with joy. Yo, guess what? I've been able to accomplish that goal plus some. So first off, this watch. For real, 
I even have a daily ritual around this watch my past lover gave me. Silly, I know. I remember when he gifted it to me, I was super excited to try it out. I heard great things about the Apple Watch and had no idea he would send it my way. I recall opening the box and being a bit shocked that he, that he just spent a ridiculous amount on a gift to somebody he barely even knew. And then I thought, is this guy trying to track me with this fancy bracelet? I mean, this is one of the most fanciest things I've ever had in my life. Okay. Well, it worked. He's totally been tracking me since the watch has been on my wrist with the face lighting up here and a buzz buzz there. It sometimes squeezes in my wrist out of nowhere too, like a daddy would to their toddler that might not be paying attention while crossing the street. There was this one time I was deeply crying. I was, I was deeply emotionally crying while missing him so much that I remember asking for a sign from the universe if he still loved me and the watch vibrated three times back to back. I pusted up laughing and sang out, sang out loud. Yep, of course you'd give me the message through the watch. By the way, I gave up on watch shopping and started envisioning a newer, dressier, more mature watch being gifted to me. Speaking of dreaming up things, an, automo an automobile mechanic did show up and offered me lessons. Fuck yeah, right? Unfortunately, there was no follow through. Ha, huh, I guess I forgot to add that detail in the manifestation. Oh, well, I will eventually find a mechanic or class to gain skills needed to be a classic car owner. When the timing is right. Back to the story, okay. While I was looking up guided meditations on all sorts of subjects like codependency, healing the inner child, clearing chakras, raising vibrations, and healing broken, a broken heart from past love on YouTube, I came across twin flame relationships. I began to investigate. I'll add some links at the bottom of this blog about twin flames. So you can, you can go to the link below in the description and go to this blog and there'll be links. There'll actually be photos of, uh, that I like selfies that I've taken as well in the blog. Like most blogs have photos of me too. All the blogs do actually. Why did I say most? All of them. The more I would dig, the more and more it resonated. Then I realized that I'm actually on my twin flame journey right now and in the separation stage. You're like, that's cool Monday. What the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck does that even mean? It might be easier to understand if you knew what a twin what a twin flame is, or at least the concept. It's a mirrored soul, a divine counterpart, yin, yang, divine masculine and divine feminine. Some think twin flames are one soul split into two bodies. The partnership is like no other and isn't even comparable to a soulmate or karmic partner. This doesn't mean that the twin flame journey is going to be rainbows and butterflies. I mean, come on. This is a true mirrored relationship. This is where you see your shadows just as much as your light through another human being. There's a reason these kinships exist. Twin flames are here to help each other develop, evolve into their true selves and fulfill their purpose. Your twin flame is always with you because they are a part of your soul. They may even be on similar paths that include self-development, spiritual enlightenment, find ful finding fulfillment, healing ancestral karma, raising con consciousness, and maybe even learning the same life lessons. Some people are fortunate to, fortunate to meet their divine counterpart during their lifetime on earth. And others never meet other than in the fifth dimension and or dreams. I will say when you do meet them, you just know. And for me, it felt like home for the first time ever in my life when I met my twin flame. 
If you choose to do your own self-study on Twin Flames, you'll discover there are multiple stages to the relationship. Stages that the relationship may or may not endure. There's information on how to identify if you truly met your Twin Flame. Oh my gosh, you'll find so much stuff if you snoop. There are Twin Flame coaches, yoga routines, and Twin Flame oracle and tarot card readers, etc. I personally think it's wonderful. I love love and always knew I was capable of big love like this. It's like it's been waiting for waiting. It's like I've been waiting all my life for it. Just remember to take twin flames as you will and believe what you want. I'm here sharing my experience and where a YouTube search on guided meditation for broken hearts led me to. The twin flame concept. And it rings so true in my situation. Everything happens for a reason, right? With this insight, I dove deeper into my own studies of twin flame relationships. And I noticed that a lot of the advice they were giving were things I was instinctually doing. I also noticed my psychic abilities becoming more enhanced as I did my self work. I was seeing clear hearing my guides better, and my gut instinct was back. This, that's really when it dawned on me that my past lover I speak of so much is definitely my twin flame. No doubt about it. And damn, what a good fucking match, too. I spelled it out. Overnight, it was like a burst of new energy with a rush of forward movement on my continued path with more insight on my purpose. It was like I was remembering what the fuck I'm here. It was like I was remembering why the fuck I'm here and a newfound excitement about the mission with all this new knowledge I was retaining. The Remy quote on my website says, your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built up against it. That quote isn't up there to be cute. Look at me. I know who Remy is. No, it's up there because I feel like this is one of the many reasons I do what I do, live the life the way I do, and engage in the work I do. I help people remove their own blocks as I learn to remove mine, it's my calling not only to be the shamanatrix, but to also, but also a love guru. You'll find out as you look deeper into the twin flames, into twin flames. It's not about. It's a lot about loving yourself, the light and the dark parts. It's about embracing the authentic self, and living your truth in your intent. There's obviously, obviously many ways a twin flame couple can play out their journey and it's not going to be the same for everyone. It really depends on how evolved you are spirit, how evolved spiritually you two are and where you're at in your current, current shared lifetime. The stories of successful twin flames are really inspirational to read and hear uh oh Oof. it's as if when twin flames get together they become more powerful and influential in the world around them twin flame couples heal the universe now take a good look at yourself in the mirror and ask if you if you truly love yourself and ready for such a task of a mirrored relationship I know I am however it's one soul and two bodies that have their own free will and mind to do as they wish in this lifetime. 
Just because I feel ready for my divine masculine does not mean my person feels ready for his divine goddess. Hey, <laughs> my dog is under the bed. Just because I feel ready for my divine masculine does not mean my person feels ready for his divine goddess or even fully aware why there's an energetic pull to each other in the first place. I've let go of the runner chaser phase and have moved into the surrender stage because I do understand divine timing and I do have faith if it's meant to be in this lifetime, we will re we will reunite re re. re, re we will reunite. In the meantime, my twin flame and I'll meet in our dreams and thoughts. And I'm going to continue to heal myself because when I heal myself, it heals you. And when you heal you, it heals me. My new mantra. We're ultimately raising our vibrations together for greater things if we like it or not. And regardless if we're coupled up in the real world. Remember one soul, two bodies. Side note, in the mornings, I wake up and the scent of my past lover fills my bedroom. I smell my lover in my bedroom in the morning. I sometimes will close the door and I will revisit my bedroom later in the afternoon and it still smells of him. So, other things going on for me in summer 2020, the year of clear vision. I'm sad that running has taken the back burner this season while I recover from health issues post-COVID-19 exposure in March. I do, however, find myself missing Forest Park so much that I, random, I will randomly be driving Skyline and daydreaming of some say, someday soon living along the tree-laned road with the trailheads in my backyard. <coughs> Excuse me. I swallowed my spit down the wrong tube. I imagine myself living in a home with a wall of windows. The perfect kitchen for cooking with lots of counter space for afternoon nookie. A rooftop top deck for entertaining with maybe an outside shower. And of course a sauna. I giggle to myself with these thoughts and shake my head thinking, wow, what one pricey house or have what one pricey house for this location. But hell, maybe someday <laughs> I've dreamt of this house too. actually like this dream. I've I've been running like I was like running on a treadmill in this house with a wall of windows. It was I I'm going to live there someday. <laughs> okay I'm working on an hour long yoga routine that aligns the chakra heals past traumas and awakens the kundalini I'm trying to, to do some sort of variations of the moves each day to get the sequence just right I will say every time I focus my yoga practice around some key positions and breath work just wow I get so zingy especially between my legs I think it's going to be a good one and looking forward to sharing it with the world when I feel it's been perfected. So look out for that. Look out for that one hour yoga routine by Monday Jones. It's coming. I'm getting more involved on my YouTube channel, hence the vlog, and brought back my, my vlogging series, Safety Meeting. Safety Meeting. It's where I smoke a joint and chat about my life. Kind of lame. I know. But it's fun and helping me become confident, confident with speaking out loud. Public speaking does interest me. And I might possibly want to sing on stage at some point in my life. So the more practice, the better. Also, I think it's worth the time to share my untraditional lifestyle, wild thoughts, and knowledge I've, accum I've accumulated along the way. It might, it might help and inspire other people. Duh. All this feels vulnerable, but at the same time, oddly comfortable. So I know I'm on the right track. I'm developing an Oracle card deck with my children. It's really awesome creating and collaborating with my kids on a big project like this. 
we'll, we'll see how the deck turns out and if they are worth making into a sellable product. I feel like I finally got some lucidity on what the fuck to do with my production company, Hardpoint Pictures. Not fully clear yet, but a good start. My business has been up in the air since last winter when my colleague and I parted ways. Nothing is happening immediately, but more on that later. I'm still looking for a, I'm still looking for voice lessons. I'm I'm wanting a female vocal teacher this time around. I'm in need of more femi energy in my life. I mean, come on, I am trying to unlock my divine goddess. A female teacher would be good for me right now. I'm struggling to keep my dog's hair cut and would love to find a dog whisperer groomer to save me from my grooming tasks forever. And now the energy is out there. And I'm sure one will come my way in divine timing. I'm giving up a bit, just a bit, on finding a personal submissive. I'm currently annoyed with people saying they are up for the challenge but then have trouble following through. No judgment on why they can't follow through. Work, life, emotional blocks, etc. I'm just doing I'm just busy doing other things right now and by no means did I sign up to do anything any anyone else's emotional labor other than my own. Duh. Mm. I will It will either happen or not. I'll leave it up to destiny. Thank you, face. <laughs> Ouch. I've been making new content for my new website and upcoming promos. It's been wonderful working production again with people I love. Set life is its own thing. As if each gig became... As if each gig becomes a family for a day. Becomes a family for a day or much or much longer, depending on the project. I'll be in New York soon, writing, working and filming more content with more friends. I'm super excited about my return to my second home, August 2nd through the 9th of 2020. By the way, that trip just got canceled. <laughs> Boo. I'm sure I'll be working on the next blog sooner than later. And in the meantime, you can check out my Safety Meaning blog. I'll post them on social media, my YouTube channel, Minivids, and OnlyFans. And please keep your eyes open for Monday's one-hour Kundalini yoga routine coming soon. I have no intentions of putting my life on hold, nor am I waiting for my twin flame to show up in the physical realm. I'm going to carry on with living my life. I'll proceed to learn from my divine counterpart, even if it's only in the fifth dimension. I'm enjoying expressing my true self the best way I know how in every given moment. I'm honestly happy with the knowledge that I have that I do have a twin flame out there in the world and feel grateful that I've had the chance to meet them this lifetime until we meet again yo <laughs> that's that um yeah so that's the bottom of my blog, a picture of me. And then there's a bunch of links about Twin Flames. Again, in the description below, there will be links to this particular blog, my website, and my story. I hope you enjoyed the time with me in my bed as I read to you. Uh, I have intentions of reading future blogs to you to turn them into vlogs. And something tells me I'm probably going to do some other readings here in my bed. Uh, maybe erotic readings, um, maybe storytelling of my stories with others or my stories of acting out fantasies, my stories of my personal life. Um, 
yeah, I look forward to this adventure. Um, I look forward to this channel developing on YouTube and the other places that I decide to post my content. And I look forward to the world watching me develop, develop into the human being that I am supposed to develop into as I continue down my path of purpose and intent. So thanks for letting me share. <laughs> thanks for sticking through it. Um, I know I can be a little bit of an awkward bean, but um, yeah. So, <laughs> who's not an awkward bean? Um, anyways, it's like I'm having a hard time saying goodbye to you and there should no be no reason for that, right? Because there's more content on my page that you'll find and there's going to be more of me doing this. I guess I'm just, just watched me get comfortable in it and now I want to do more. That's a good sign, right? Anyways, um, till next time. Kisses from my bed. Bye.